Hi guys, it's Omer from MMOHub.com. I'm the first impression gameplay video for Smash Online, free to play tennis MMO published by GameAgo. Now I'll spend about 5-10 minutes running around checking, checking the game out and make quick comments. If you guys want to play Smash Online or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHub.com on the look on the right sidebar. Now here we go. As you can see from the splash screen right now, the game is an anime inspired, brightly themed game. Let's take a quick start over here. Now let's see our character creation. We have Juri, Sinny, Vaughn, and Hani. Yep, so there's four playable avatars in the game, each with varying stats. I love how it tells you the, the character's blood type, because that's so important, you know? Oh, he's got A blood type? Nah, can't play that guy. Gotta play uh, B type over here. But I'm gonna play Sinny, because he looks coolest. And, you know, forehand, backhand, varying stats in the game. They don't really mean anything to me, so it doesn't matter for me. I'm gonna click continue. So we have two different hairstyles, blue and blonde. Two different coats and five different rackets. I'm gonna go with blue because it matches my hair. I'm a stylish guy. Now we have six different play styles as well. And these actually do impact the game quite a bit. And they, you know, impact your starting stats. Uh, if you're gonna play with a buddy on doubles mode, I suggest you pick two, two of the play styles that go well together. But for me, I'm gonna do all core play because I'll be playing with random people online. Continue. So at least the game has some variety in that regard. And creating our character. All right, premier match, beginner match, stars battle, friendly match, and training. Training is for a single player. You can complete various missions in the game and improve your stats. But I'm gonna go with friendly match because I'm a friendly guy. Let's check out the game store though before we begin. Item shop, that is, not store. Here you can purchase various clothing and accessories for your character with smash points that you earn in the game. So let's see our clothing. And the clothing is per character, so I have Cindy over here, and let's see what clothes I got for him and hats. And I don't know how this cap is in the hairstyle section. And I'm pretty sure hats are not hairstyle. But we got different clothing, different shirts, different pants, you know, different gloves, bands, shoes, rackets, you name it. And the equipment actually impacts the game quite a bit. So, uh, you know, it, it adds some variety to the game and gives you a reason to keep playing. And they are very expensive though, 30,000 points, so wow. And I only have a thousand. But I just started, so let's see what happens. Let's check out the characters as well and skills. No skills in the game, and not really much else. So there's clothing and characters. And there's some characters over here that you can't pick in the character creation screen. And let's check them out over here. Oh, Salma. I'm a, I'm a fan of this one. <laughs> I love the unnatural movements when you're standing still. I'm pretty sure physics doesn't allow that. But uh, I'm liking this character. Let's see what else she does. Oh, yeah. Again, uh, there we go. I'm liking this game already. Anyway, uh, I'll return here later, but for now, I'm gonna check out the game. And yeah, you know, you, she's the only one that costs cash points in the out of the avatar, so you need to pay cash to use her. So let's just join a 2v2 game over here. I want to do 2v2 because uh, if I suck, I can always blame my partner. Though this game is empty, and I don't want to wait. Let's do a 1v1. Quick start. Here we go. Ready. He has 38 wins, 11 losses, so he's played the game at least a decent amount. Now the game is varying stages, but again, it only impacts the background, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Contr I just got screwed over there. Controls are very straightforward. There's A, S, and D. A is top spin, S is lob, D is slice. I know, gotcha. Here we go. Oh my god. I'm just gonna say lag, alright? That's my uh, ultimate excuse over here. Alright, here we go. I, I gotta return this one at least. I can't suck this bad. Here we go. And you can aim it after you hit it. You can you know you see the little thing show up over there and you can aim with the D-pad. Oh my god, this guy's ripping me. And if you want to do A plus S, you can do a flat and S plus D is a drop shot. But I'm, I'm not gonna try anything fancy right now. Oh my god, I'm getting ripped. Alright. I'll turn my monitor on. That's my excuse. And serving is pretty straightforward. And I just faulted. I better pick up my game now. Come on, come on. Easy serve. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm hitting it so softly and he's returning it like a beast. I guess I'm doing something wrong. I'm gonna try hitting with a slice next time. Oh my god, I'm getting ripped. I'm telling you, I should have done a doubles game. And uh, if you've seen me play fancy tennis, I'm terrible at that too, so... This is not a, not a good game for me. 
Tennis games are not my strong point. Look at that. Look at that drop shot. Pro stuff. Pro oh my god, he returned it. That a hole. My guy didn't jump for it. Where's the enthusiasm? Alright, match point. Match point. Come on. I'm smelling a fault, but let's see what happens. No? It's good. I'm gonna camp this net. My guy moved out of the way. What a pansy. Alright, uh, I got ripped in my first singles game over here. And depending on how well you do, you get experience points in the game. And as you level up, you get, you know, your stats do improve. I'm going to leave this game and find somebody in a 2v2 game where I can, uh, maybe leech off somebody's skill. <clears throat> Alright, I find a 2v2 game finally. And a big problem with this game is it does have a low player base, so it can be hard to find games at times. And I better do well this time. I'm all warmed up and ready to go. Look at that. Service ace. I'm a boss. And what I like about this game is though, uh, unlike Fantasy Tennis, it's very straightforward in that there's no crazy game mode. It's very, you know, it's a straight up tennis MMO. No crazy stuff, no wacky skills, nothing like that. In Fantasy Tennis, a lot of crazy things happen. Whoa, like slow-mo when the ball gets hit. Look at this. We're, rock, well, we're doing really well now. And uh, it, no, Fantasy Tennis is some crazy game modes. Here, you have straight up tennis and nothing else. And you saw in the skills menu, there was really nothing else. It's just a tennis game. And another good thing is it's very easy to pick up and learn. Controls are very straightforward. I think I did really bad that first game because I was warming up and the guy I played against was really good. Here I'm playing against other beginners, so I can do pretty well. And this is a game that anybody can pick up and learn, which is nice. It takes no time. There's no tutorial, but there's really no need for one. The training missions are worth checking out if you're just new to MMOs in general. Wow, this guy's a beast on my team. Look at him go. Blue, game win Blue team wins. Look at that. Pro stuff right there. I know uh, Area Games used to have their own tennis MMO, but it was called Gold Slam Tennis and they shut it down. It was a lot like this in that it was a straight up tennis game with no wacky stuff. Look at this guy, he's hugging the ball. He's a beast though, you know what? Oh, th that was mine actually, I should have gotten that one. Look at that. I like the, I like that lolly avatar over there. Like I said, he's yelling at me in German. I'm gonna say no tango, even though that's not German, I know. Look at that. Look at this. Is it oh. <laughs> oh 30. Uh, we won that first game, but we're giving it up now pretty fast. He's a champ though. They know to serve it to me now because I'm pretty bad. Look at that. Look at that. I gotta slice this. Here we go. Smash. I wanted to smash that. This is uh this is a bit more exciting than the first game because it's actually being volleyed. Oof. Skills right there. Skills. Not for me though, from another guy. And this is actually the only tem tennis MO out there other than Fantasy Tennis. So, if for some reason you don't like Fantasy Tennis, this is the other game to play. 1540. You know what? I'm giving it to them. I want them to come back a little bit. Otherwise, it's too easy. Another little issue with this game is most of the players don't speak English because it's in Europe, but people from Asia play. You know, there's a lot of non English players play. At least a lot of non Americans. And it's out. And if you play from North America, you may have some latency issues because, again, the servers are hosted in you know, Europe. He said Woot. I said, oh my god. He doesn't know what Woot means. Silly Germans. Giving me his Asian face. Sink lost. I don't know what that meant. I think I lagged a little bit. Your ball. Now again, this is a really fun game because you can just pick up and play, and that's really the best part of it. Requires no, you know, real training. Well, if you want to be good, you gotta play. But I'm not worried about being good. I'm gonna, I got a good teammate over here. I'm gonna go play over here. No, your ball. Here we go. Here we go. And the Gary customization in the game is surprisingly decent, more so than I thought it would be. And look at that. My teammate is just carrying me to victory. Carrying me to victory. Ugh. The one ball that comes to me, I screwed up. It's alright. It's alright. Let me see. Alright. Alright. I'll turn my monitor on. See, that's my uh, slick excuse over there. I'm sure they'll buy it. And you know, he just gave me his happy Asian eyes. He's chill. Look at that. Nope, it's a fault. That was good. How is that a fault? Shenanigans. 
Here we go. I'm, I'm actually returning now. I'll give him the Asian eyes too. To make him feel better about himself for missing that one. 93 kilometers an hour. Wow. These balls are going quite fast. Again, this guy's a champ. We're going to win. 3-2 now. Uh, one problem with this game though. It's only got two simple game modes. Doubles and single. But you would expect that from a tennis MMO. But... One good thing about Fantasy Tennis was that it had both regular game modes and uh, crazy game modes. Here, you only have regular game modes and nothing else. So if you get bored of the actual tennis game, uh, there's nothing else to do. So the game has enough customization to keep you entertained if you're looking for a tennis game. Again, wow, this guy's a boss. I'm gonna go run over here and drink some Kool-Aid or whatever. Whatever. I am running out of time now, guys, though. So if you guys want to play Fantasy Tennis or just learn more about it, check out our full review on MMOHot.com on the look on the right sidebar.